Welcome everyone, Apple has released the brand new iOS 15.4.1 to all devices which received iOS 15, including the iPhone 6S. In this video, I'll go through what is new with iOS 15.4.1 and whether or not you should be upgrading to it on your iPhone 6S. So what's new? Well, if you've had any battery drain issues, iOS 15.4.1 solves the battery drain issues. That alone is a great reason to upgrade if you're experiencing battery drain on your iPhone success. There are two other fixes as well. If you use a Braille display, which is a, um, you know, it's like a keyboard for people with special needs, or if you use hearing aid devices, guess what? These are now solved with iOS 15.4.1 on the older software versions that were glitching out, i.e. sometimes they're being unresponsive, or they may lose connection. That is now solved with 15.4.1. So, okay. Those are the new features. If you want the battery drain sold, you go ahead and upgrade. However, what about the other stuff? The performance, the multitasking, and of course, battery life is going to be good on 15.4.1 as the battery drain is sold. So let's just go to the performance department. So Photos app is closed. Let's open it up. And in fact, it wasn't closed. Let's just try that again. So if I just go here, you can see the app launch times decent. Right, iOS 15 did slow down the iPhone success compared to iOS 14 and those older firmwares. However, iOS 15 is still running well on the iPhone success. It's not going to be as fast as, let's say, my iPhone 13 Pro Max. However, it is still decently fast. A fun fact, iOS 15 is actually faster than iOS 9 on the iPhone success. iOS 9, if you're wondering, is the first firmware which shipped with this iPhone. And on iOS 15.4.1, this current software version, I'm seeing no issues. I mean, you saw me opening up applications. I did, you know, an app launch test as everything is just as you to uh, expect when upgrading. The next thing is multitasking. So when it comes to the multitasking department, there's no issues there either. When it came to iOS 13.2, it's a good example to refer to this one because iOS 13.2 broke the multitasking uh, in the iOS software. And what that meant is if you had five apps open, uh, the first app would close out. So it was like really terrible multitasking. So I'm going to put, uh, let's say that's about six apps here. And let's see, just like that, you can see my tasking is perfectly fine. I loaded up six apps on a phone with broken multitasking. This app would have closed by now. However, it hasn't, so multitasking, fully working. Just keep in mind, guys, you only have two gigs of RAM on the iPhone 6S. So if you do have games loaded up, always close out your games if you're not playing them. Otherwise, you'll have like, you know, your device will get slower because it's trying to optimize the uh, RAM storage. And also, you know, things will glitch out and the multitasking won't be great. As long as you just don't have games open, you're going to have no issues with multitasking on the iPhone 6S at all, especially on iOS 15.4.1. Of course, battery does solve the battery drain issue. But just keep in mind, guys, you just want to open up settings, battery, battery health. Now, I have 100% maximum capacity. That means my battery in the 6S is the same capacity as a brand new iPhone 6S. However, if yours is lower, let's say 89%, that means you're going to have 10% overall less battery uh, before you have to charge again compared to when you first got your iPhone. So that's just something to consider. If you do have the lower battery health, you may just have battery issues. There's also a chance you have a faulty battery. In that case, you may need to get the battery replaced. On your iPhone 6S, battery replacements are actually very cheap uh, in fairness, but of course, you know, not everyone is made of money. Let's just keep it real here. And not everyone even wants to change their battery um, you know, you may just want to upgrade your device if you are having extreme issues. Uh, however, for me, I'm having no issues. However, do keep in mind, I am on the 100% maximum capacity, so I can't speak for everyone who is on the lower capacity percentages. So should you be updating to iOS 15.4.1? No reason why you shouldn't be. And so with that being said, thanks for watching. See you guys later. Bye-bye.